The American people have subsidized the oil industry long enough. They don't need the subsidies. It's time to end that taxpayer giveaway to an industry that's never been more profitable. Invest in clean energy that's never been more promising. Well, the president's answer to your pet at the pump, well, keep plugging those plug-ins. He wants to give communities $1 billion to spend on charging stations for them and give buyers of plug-in cars and other alternative vehicles a tax credit of $10,000 rather than the $7,500 they're getting right now. To Republican Senator John Barrasso, who says just stop it right now. So, Senator, you, you think he's just digging a deeper pit? Well, I really think he is, Neil. You know, the president talks a lot about fairness. I don't know how it's fair uh, to give uh, pick winners and losers and give even a higher tax uh, break as he wants to do for much more expensive vehicles, vehicles that people don't want to buy. You know, they've uh, shut down production of the Volt. They're laying off 1,300 people, but that's what the president is trying to do here, uh, to have people do things that even the government isn't doing right now. There's a report out today that in spite of the president saying he wanted the government to buy more of these alternative uh, fuel vehicles, that uh, even the government is saying no to the president. Now, one of the arguments I've heard for this, it sounds kind of specious to me, but I, I, I can kind of see the, the thinking here. Well, if you don't build it, they won't come. In other words, if you don't have these plug-in stations, they won't build the plug-in cars because there are no stations to plug them into. I know it's a, a crazy uh, argument, but I could see the, the rationale. What, what do you say to that? Well, you know, you look at some of these vehicles, they cost over $100,000. Uh, they're trying to make a, a cheaper vehicle, but it's still over $50,000. The expense is very high. So that's not for most Americans. You know, when I talk to people at home in Wyoming who are used to driving long distances, they know that those plug-ins are going to run out of uh, electricity before they get uh, to the other end of the road. So obviously not popular in your state where they do travel those great distances. But the president has been saying, those who are supporting this technology have been saying, look, uh, oil and all those guys, they've had the benefits of these subsidies. They're the big leader. They're the heavily, heavily favored guys. And the only way these other guys can get a chance to compete is to get the government to give them that opportunity to compete. You're, you're saying don't even try. Well, the president has, you know, wasted $500, billion, $500 million of taxpayer dollars on a failed bet on Solyndra. Now he says he wants to bet on this as well. People at home are feeling the pain at the pump. They see the cost of gasoline continuing to go up. And the president continues to block the Keystone XL pipeline. That's what the American people uh, are most concerned about. So the president can push uh, vehicles that people aren't buying because of price and because of practicality. Uh, but th that's the American way. And, and the president, I think, is, is really not doing the things he ought to be doing, which is putting together an energy policy which allows us to get down the cost of, of gasoline. That's what people are worried about. It's the price of gasoline at the pump. It's something we ought to be doing today. And he comes up with something like releasing energy from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. That's for true emergencies. It's not for a political disaster. And that's what the president has on his hands right now. Thank you, Senator. Good seeing you again. Thanks, Neil.